Okay, since people have been begging me for months to do this, I'll show you how to do it. This is the easiest kind of music importing without using Sappy. Now the first thing you want to know is you want to order the tracks in order of importance. So yeah, I'm just deleting a track that doesn't matter. But anyways, you want to order them in order of importance. Afterwards, you want to click this button that says repair song to make sure there's no errors in the song. This way, you can import the song perfectly fine into the next program. Now, I'm done with this song, so I'm going to save as into the mid folder of mid to agb So, I'm going to do that right now. Here we go. Click. Here we go. I'm replacing the song. Make sure there is only one song in this folder. Okay, so we close the program, and now we open up the mid to AGB folder. Now in this folder there's a program on the bottom called TR. Click this. Push the button, and if the song is accepted it will appear on the left side, like right here. If it does not get accepted it will appear on the right side, like right here. If there is an error in your song it will appear on the right side, so you need to make sure you have no errors in your song. So now I'm going to go and test it, see if it works. It will appear in this GBA file, song.gba, if it has worked. <coughs> right now I'm just telling it to look right place for it. We can do that later, I guess. Whatever. There you go. Whew. It's there. So that means the song is there. That's good. Okay. So I'm going to close this. Whoop. And now here comes the second part. Now this is kind of weird because I use a program called Tile Molester, which is a tile editor, but you can also use it as a hex editor. All you gotta know is that the first row represents the first eight hex numbers, and then the second row represents the second set, the nine through sixteen when it comes to hex. Fifteen, sorry, fifteen. And uh, so it goes zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then the second row is eight, nine, A, B, C, D, E, F. That's all you gotta know. It's really quite easy once you realize that. So now I'm going to open up both the ROM file, which is Pokemon Ruby, and song.gba. Now this is the easiest way to just import a song if you don't want to repeat it. If you want to repeat it, there's a bit more of a complicated procedure. But I wanted to post this first to go through the basic ideas. So I'm finding that thing real quick. It should be open in a second. La 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 la. Okay. Here we go. And there's Song GBA. Now, the reason why I changed the palette is because you need an individual color for each different value, or else you could get problems with copying. So now I'm going to open Sappy 1.6. Why aren't you using the new Sappy, you ask? Well, that's because the new Sappy sucks. Okay, so I'm going to open up Pokemon Ruby in here. And it will tell me where all the pointers are. It's very useful. So I'm going to open the song I want to replace. Like this. Play. Okay. So you'll notice that there's three pointers on the top. This leads to where it is located in the table, so where it is on the table. The, sec the second number next to it represents the location of the pointer, and then the third number below it is the instrument set, or the voice group. Now what I'm doing is I'm just copying all of the song from song GBA to the, uh, the ROM file. Make sure that all of it appears on there. Make sure you have the everything to the end of the ROM on there. So, 
all that blobby stuff before is all the, is all the song and the black stuff above it is nothing so you want to copy all the blobby stuff and the black stuff above it is nothing right now I'm writing down the location of this for later use now I'm changing the one at the beginning of it to an F so that way I can have when I transfer it over it will be in free space and then I can change the pointers really easily by changing all the ones to F's so now I go to the location in the GBA ROM and lo and behold it's full of empty free space so now I'm going to extend the canvas so I can copy the whole thing that's quite important <coughs> So now I'm checking the height of it, and I cut, and I paste. Okay, great, now we've got the song in there. Now what we gotta do is we gotta record the, the pointer of the first part of the song. This is so we have a relative point of view where the song starts. It also can be used if you wanna trim off the stuff at the beginning. What you're looking for is the byte BC, and that looks like, in Tile Molester, in this palette, it looks like a C green next to a kind of, like, navyish blue, like that. You see that right there? I'm going to actually zoom in on that to show you that, because that's one, of the, that, that color combination is literally ingrained in my mind, because that's the most important color combination. That's BC right there. By the way, the numbers are read in reverse, so, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to write that pointer down. Now, I make a mistake a little bit later, and I'm going to show you what that mistake is in a minute. But this mistake is a very easy-to-make mistake, and it's a very bad mistake. But it's easy to fix, if you know what you're doing. So, now I'm going to find the header of the song. The header is where all the information is located and it tells the, it tells the game where to look for all the tracks and the instruments. It's located at the very end of the song usually, unless you want to really be annoying or anything and locate all your tracks elsewhere. I'm going to position myself properly because it should start on a single byte that's a number 0 through F. And that's the number that tells you how many tracks you have. Right now, I'm just replacing all the ones with Fs so that I can repoint all those. Now, I'm going to check the instrument number, which is right here where I'm circling my mouse around. And then I'm going to copy that number into these colors. Four, three, F. One, three, C. Now I'm going to save. Now, here's the part where I make a mistake. And I didn't realize I made this mistake because I was kind of tired when I did this. So I wasn't really paying too much attention. So now what we do is we go to where it's located in the table, which is the first number shown. And then we put the number of the header, the pointer to the header in here. But that's not what I'm putting in. I'm putting in the first track. That's a big mistake. It will cause my game to glitch up if I put this in. But this is to show you that through, through this kind of editing, it's actually a very easy to fix a mistake like this. A mistake that would normally be considered fatal if you used Sappy to automatically compile your songs is really easy to fix if you know what you're doing in hex editing. So I'm going to open up my ROM to show you what happens. Actually I had no idea that I made this mistake so I thought it would work perfectly. Okay so we're loading up the ROM and it seems alright. But then that happens, and it makes a horrible noise, and you'll know it the first time you hear it. It's an awful, god-awful noise. So, that's what the mistake I made. I put in the wrong pointer. You can easily do that with the other program, but we can fix it very easily with hex editing. Or 
floor tile editing like I do. <coughs> So now what I'm doing is I'm opening up a backup copy of Pokemon Ruby and Safi so that Safi 1.6 so that I can find the pointer to the original header. This way I don't have to risk opening that other um, that other ROM that's glitched up and it will freeze the program. So I'm gonna load it in this ROM and I'm gonna check where it is in the table in there. So I'm going to keep that in there. Now I'm going to find, I'm going to follow the pointer that I put up there. Copy. Control V. Well, that's our problem. I pointed it to a bunch of free space. That made it freeze. Well, I gotta go to the header. Now I gotta find the location of the header. Now it's very important if you're using a tile editor, which I doubt most of you are using, but this is what I'm using, you got to make sure you're on the right tile in order to make sure that you got the right offset. This is what it should look like if you got the header. Now I'm going to copy the headers pointer and I'm going to type it here so that I can remember it. You see that that's what a header looks like in the tile viewer. So now I'm going to go to the location in the table. So I can fix my fix my pointer. Bad pointer. Okay, so it looks like we got the first few numbers right. But we need to put in an A here, a one here, an eight here, and a four here. Now we save. Whew, let's test if it works this time. If it works in Sappy, then it will definitely work in the ROM. Well, it's playing. That's definitely a good sign. That means it's working. So now we can finally open the ROM to see if it will work. And see, it loads the title screen, which means the song totally works. Now, this is what it sounds like. Test, 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 test